Okay guys, today we got another awesome Shin Godzilla toy straight from Japan. This is the repaint version. As you can see here, uh, there's a purple one and this red one here. So this looks really cool. Uh, here's what the side of the box looks like. I really like how these uh, Japanese boxes look. They look really cool. Here's a look at the other side. A look at the top. Okay, and let's go ahead and open this up and take the figure out and check him out because this is really cool. So this is a red repaint. Uh, I showed you guys the uh, purple one, which uh, I could show you again, but this is what comes in the package before I remove anything. I also have a link below the video in the description where you could buy this one on Amazon. Like I said, this is a really awesome one. A lot of fun, straight from Japan. Okay, let's check him out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Uh, first of all, what I did find out from the first one I opened was they come with this little stand here. Because once you put its tail on, if you don't have it on this plastic stand, it falls over. And guys, uh, I really like these. I mean, they have awesome detail as you can see when he doesn't have his tail he stands fine he does not fall over when he doesn't have his tail it's when you put the tail on because uh seems like the tail on most of these godzillas is really huge okay so first of all what well, ah no first of all this is one section of the tail so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on i'm not gonna put See, it seems like this one's at a different angle. Uh, see, it, it's too heavy. It leans to the side. So I'm going to leave the uh, last section of its tail off until we get over there because I don't want to put uh, him on the stand yet. Okay, so if you go ahead and look at this, uh, you can see it's got really wicked teeth painted on, tiny little beady eyes. I really like the spikes they put down the back. They put multiple rows of spikes, and they are sharp. I mean, if you touch these, if you, like, stepped on this, <laughs> good luck. If you step on that at nighttime, you're probably going to be screaming. <laughs> Very sharp, guys. Watch out. And then uh, they did a great job with the claws on this guy, just like uh, the other repaint I showed you guys, the purple one. So I really like these repaint ones the, from Japan. I mean, they did a great job detailing. These guys are perfect for, uh, you know, they're all right for playability, but they're perfect for posing. And then you could see uh, with the claws, they did a really good job there too. Lots of claws. Uh, looks like six claws and then one in the middle there. I thought that was a repaint problem in the last one, but it's not. It seems like all of these have it. And through its whole body, you're seeing a red and black color effect there. Uh, blended right into the uh, black part of his body, so that's really cool. And then I went ahead and added the rest of his uh, tail. You can see this one ends in red, where uh, if you see my video for the other one, that one ends in purple. So, like I said, I mean, this is an awesome dino, guys. If you guys want a really good collectible edition Godzilla, these ones are definitely it. Uh, you could order these on Amazon. They ship their ship. Well, they're shipped from Amazon, but these are uh, manufactured by Sega in Japan. So uh, you get fast prime shipping if you have prime shipping, but they ultimately they are coming from Japan. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I really like uh, these uh, repaint ones. Let me show you guys the purple one because it's, it's pretty much identical to this one but a different color. So there is the purple one. I have a full review on that one if you want to check that one out. That one's really cool too. And let me know which one of these two you like the most or 
what Godzilla toy you want to see reviewed. I'm going to be reviewing a lot of them. Uh, I got quite a few more of the Shin Godzillas that I bought. I got some really nice uh, Godzilla like eggs and toys and just some really cool stuff. And like I said, this one did come with the stand. So uh, he's got like two holes on his feet. So if you put him in the stand, then you don't need that little, uh, this little thing to hold him by the tail because he is standing on that stand and he stands really good on that. Guys, then besides these two Godzilla toys which I've already shown you, I have several more I will be unboxing soon. I've got two transforming eggs here. One is Godzilla, one is King Chidora. And I also have a third one which I need to find. I've got an awesome robotic Godzilla which is straight from Japan. I've got a big Ghidorah, which is some type of three-headed dragon straight from Japan. I got an awesome vinyl 2016 Godzilla straight from Japan. I got these three little Shin Godzillas, which are from the 1950s, the 1980s, and 2016 versions of Godzilla. I got this other awesome Godzilla toy, which I got from... Toys R Us, which I have already reviewed. This guy is awesome. In my opinion, this NECA 24 inch Godzilla is my favorite. This one uh, I got for $50. Super detailed, awesome construction, and I mean, you could put this guy in so many different poses and positions. Very good playability and posability. Uh, I have a full review of that if you want to check out the Godzilla King Kong playlist at the end of the video. And then of course my biggest Godzilla toy, which is a giant one that's over three foot tall. I mean this, you can see compared to the size of my hand, this guy is huge. This one I actually found at Toys R Us. I believe you could get this one on Amazon too. I believe it's just giant size Godzilla. So here you can see compared to the figure I just reviewed how big this guy is. Okay guys so that is all the Godzilla toys I have so far and that I will be reviewing. Well actually I got a few more that I have to find because I've got a lot of boxes of toys. So I have a few more besides the one I show, ones I showed you that I will be reviewing. Uh, let me know if there's any other Godzilla toys that you guys want to see review. And guys, here is a size comparison. Uh, this is the guy I just reviewed. This is the 24-inch NECA Godzilla, and this is the new King Kong from uh, King Kong Skull Island. Let me know which one you think would win in battle, or which one you want to win in a battle. I mean, do you want King Kong to win? Do you want Godzilla to win? And then, uh, whoever votes more, that one's gonna win in my next battle. So if you guys vote for King Kong, King Kong will win in my next battle. If you vote for Godzilla, Godzilla will win in my next battle. Thanks for viewing and being awesome. Wow, guys, that was a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, Make sure you click subscribe 
and the thumbs up button down below the video. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I know you're a member of my club. If you look to the video ends, there's an awesome end card. There's a lot more fun videos. And I will see you soon. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos, and if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.